Thanks for joining us on Tandem Radio for a very special segment by design, focused on helping you understand how God designed you so that you may be healthy and productive in fulfilling God's purposes in your life for many years to come. Now let's join our host, health expert and public speaker, Dr. James Prudian. Welcome to the By Design Radio Program. My name is Dr. James Prudian of Prudian Healthcare and PrudianHealthcare.com, where health literacy is the key to longevity. And as long as God has us on this side of eternity, my show is designed to educate you and your families to feel better, function better, and live as many quality disease-free years as possible. The By Design program was set up in terms of building foundational health principles to help all of us learn what the actual plan was from a physical, nutritional, and psychological perspective. Well, this upcoming week, this show was designed to do another foundational subject. Foundational subjects, which you'll see in the archived shows, are the foundational health principles, and there's eight or nine of them that I'm going to be doing over the next six six months to a year. And from time to time, we're going to be doing topics. So the last time I was on... Uh, we did health care versus sick care, and then we had to take a week break. And the reason we took the week off was because of Hurricane Sandy. Uh, so I'm coming uh, to you this week after uh, a couple of weeks of absolute devastation, particularly down in my area. Um, I practice in the West End section of the Long Branch, a half a block from the ocean, and I live in Red Bank. And it's just, uh, you know, I think all of us who live here in New Jersey, and particularly along the shore, have really seen something over the last couple of weeks that uh, I know I've never seen in my life. I've certainly seen enough storms, but not one of this magnitude. And the show's uh, Bible verse that I use week after week was Luke one thirty seven, was, for with God, nothing is impossible. And, you know, I came to my building the day after the storm, and my roof was hanging off of my building. I own a three-story building, and this roof is hanging off and no power, and the whole thing that so many of us have gone through um, in the last couple of weeks And I always draw upon that verse that, you know, God's plan is there and nothing is impossible. He wants us to roll up our sleeves and and put our boots on and go to work. And there are times where we have to dig a little deeper. So I was going to start a new foundational topic this week called stress. It's one of the foundational pieces. And instead of doing that, I'll start stress next week. This show is about stress, but it's really about how the body is designed, God's design, that we adopt and handle stress as it comes into our lives. So I want to spend a little time today talking about what we've all been through, Uh, make it a very topical show, and a show that hopefully will give you some insight as to how our bodies respond to stress and what we should do every day while we're in crisis state because we couldn't have prevented a storm like this, and now we're living in its aftermath to make sure that our bodies are protected. Uh, Before I get going, I do want to make an announcement with respect to Broken Loaves. Broken Loaves is a ministry here at CCOB, Calvary Chapel, Old Bridge, that is just a wonderful ministry. I'm having a uh, Broken Loaves truck come down to my office Thursday, the 15th of November. Uh, Between 3 and 7 o'clock, we're doing a turkey drive, uh, trying to get as many frozen turkeys as possible, as well as blankets and gloves and coats and scarves for the people that Broken Loaves takes care of. So once again, my office is in West End Long Branch, 10 West End Court. You could go to naturalhealthcarecenter.com to find out more information. And if you are if you have the heart right now to donate to Broken Loaves, if you're down by me and can't make it up to Old Bridge, we're bringing a truck down to West End Long Branch, and uh, uh, it would be a blessing to see you there. That aside, now we can move on. You know, this past week I saw someone in my in my office who lived in um, Monmouth Beach and wrapped her arms around me and cried. And the day of the storm, she lost her house, her car, and her job because her job was in Seabright. And uh, so in one day, you know, she lost her house, her car, and her job, and the mother of two. And, you know, the stories that are coming in of, of, of the type of uh, tragedy, loss— that people are internalizing that, once again, we have no control of. It's how, are we, how we respond to stress because we can't prevent it in a lot of ways, particularly tragedy and trauma and things we can't control. But our response to stress is what is essential. How do we mentally 
get up every day, what are our thought processes, what are our physical activities like, and what are our nutritional activities like so that we're equipped. And this, this woman, Kathy, told me an amazing story, and I understand why it was happening physiologically, and maybe it's happening to some of you listening. She said that when she went to her house and had to clean out whatever was left, she found this abundance of energy that she was lifting heavy things up over her head and she couldn't stop working, this physical ability that she said she didn't know where it came from. And I explained to her that that is the body's fight or flight reflex and fight or flight, which again, we'll get into next show where we start taking apart the biochemistry of fight or flight. The fight or flight is a God-given reflex by design that secretes certain hormones in us. One of them is adrenaline that gives us strength and energy, particularly in, in times of stress. So it, it's interesting that maybe some of you out there are finding yourselves going through a lot of highs and lows right now, a lot of energy throughout the day, and then you just crash at night. Well, that's part of that uh, God-given by design reflex called fight or flight. And when when we look at real stress, you know, I, I get a kick out of people. They'll say, oh, I'm stressed out. You know, I had to stand too too long at the line at the bank today. You know, and when we look at that and we say, well, is that really stress? Um, uh, one of the statistics that I use when I speak on stress management in corporate America is, you know, the number one um, type of stress that a human being could be exposed to is the loss of a child. And we could understand that. We could understand that the loss of a child is a very stressful, tragic thing. And it actually increases the mother's risk of dying, goes up like 400% within three years after the loss of a child. And that's internal. So what the show today I want to bring to light is the way our brains are wired into our bodies can cause a lot of the disease and even in the case that I just mentioned, death. So we want to be very conscious of that noodle between our ears and how we're processing information, especially during times of stress like the hurricane that we've just lived through. I happened to a uh, personal story after 9-11, um, a few days after 9-11, I was escorted into New York City with a group of doctors um, and therapists, you know, uh, to uh, the USS Spirit, which was like a makeshift um, place for all the construction workers to sleep, get a meal. In my case, we treated patients for 24 straight hours. And I never forget the feeling of being there. Um, I had, I could have worked five, 10 days in a row without sleep. I had so much energy working on the iron workers and the construction workers who were coming out of the pit. And, you know, living through 9-11 and uh, now Hurricane Sandy and the rest of these um, non-controllable episodes in our lives really brings us back to that place of by design how we were designed in a way. God gave us the ability to process stress. And as we process that stress, which is stress is defined as a forcibly exerted influence or pressure that causes – adverse stimuli to the way our bodies, our physical reaction, our mental reaction, our emotional, internal and external. And what that stress does is it disturbs our body's normal homeostasis. And homeostasis means balance. So the balance gets thrown out of whack. And these reactions, if they last for a long period of time, then they can lead to a disorder. So many times we'll have a quick momentary stressful episode in our lives and it leaves. Hurricane Sandy isn't quite like that because it's here. We're living in it. And many of many of the people that I'm speaking to right now, um, particularly where I practice, they day to day are in a stressful state. So we have to be conscious that we don't want to lead to any of those disorders. And going back to 9-11, I think a lot of people post 9-11 were living in that heightened state of stress. And in following 9-11, many months later, they became sick for a number of reasons. So as, as I like to uh, or, or, uh, re reflect on a book that I read many years ago called The Three Deceivers, and The Three Deceivers outline the things that we really don't control. We don't control uh, – we don't have control over our control, our independence, or our freedom. It's God's design. So – as much as we like to think we are, I think episodes like this shows us that we're not. 
And it always brings us back to the same place. It's kind of interesting. It brings us back to family. It brings us back to church. And it brings, brings us back to our relationships. And, and thank God for that. You know, our community, our family, our friends, our church, these are the things that matter. And the stress and how that stress impacts us can have that disturbance of our homeostasis, particularly our immune function. And I, I'm on the radio today, whoever out there is listening to me, find your place amongst your family, your friends, your church, and your community. It's essential, particularly during stressful times. Because, you know, God's plan is that at the end of the day, if you think about it, we're, we're really meant to be farmers where we relax at the end of the day, we go to bed early. You know, and Sandy, I think, is showing many of us those basic principles of the way we were designed. And stress and its impact, that homeostasis, that impact us this upcoming week, uh, really look to the types of foods that are going to nourish us. Let's stick with fruits and vegetables, really good sources of protein, clean sources of protein. And uh, if you have to even get a a whey powder or a rice protein powder, you shake it up in a blender or a shake up, you know, do something to get a really healthy source of protein, drink an abundance of water. And remember, and again, I haven't gotten into the nutritional programs yet, and I will, healthy oils. Make sure we're consuming those really good healthy oils like olive oil and flaxseed oil and stay away from the vegetable oils and the oils that are bad for us. Because if we're eating stressful foods, and we're already in a stressful environment, meaning the homeostasis model because of what's around us, we're just adding more stressful burden onto our bodies. So the cleaning habits really try to focus on that this week. And I can't, you know, uh, express enough how powerful prayer is during this time, proven over and over again to be the greatest stress reducer. So as we're in our communities and we're leading our communities and we're in our churches and amongst our families, that we're going to, in, in stressful states that are non-controllable, that last a long time, like in this case, the hurricane, we need to rise above it and we need to pull our boots up and we really need to do the best job that we can in making clear decisions. And if you're in a place that you can't because of the situation that this hurricane has led you to, go to church, find a leader in your community and in your church to help you along. And next week, I will start stress, and it'll probably be a three or four week series that I do. And we're really going to rip it apart and go through it very literally. And um, I just wanted to thank everybody for listening to me this week. You've been listening to the By Design radio program. Thanks for joining me. Remember, naturalhealthcarecenter.com um, and the uh, turkey drive that we're doing for Broken Loaves will be on November 15th. And I hope to see you down at my office. And uh, please keep uh, your questions. If you'd like to submit them, go to prudianhealthcare.com and su submit them. I am going to be going over some questions in upcoming weeks. Uh, this week, be safe, be healthy. God bless you and your families. And I hope you continue listening uh, as we start stress. Thank you. You've been listening to By Design with Dr. James Prudian of Prudian Healthcare. To learn more, visit us at tandemradio.com. That's tandemradio.com or on Facebook. And don't forget to email us with your questions. We'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, hope you have a healthy week, and we look forward to you joining us next time for more fantastic insights from Dr. James Prudian on By Design, a special production of Tandem Radio.